Who'd like to go first? I guess I'll do it. <laughs> I think I've uh, met you before. Uh, yes, my name is Keith Boyd, and I play Frederick Frankenstein. Excuse me, who's that again? It's uh, Frederick Frankenstein. Frederick. Pulling your leg. Oh. oh, well, okay, just give me some background of this character. I mean, is, this, is this like a Mel Brooks thing or something? Or um, I, I, I think that is the technical term. This is a Mel Brooks thing. Thing, thing. Uh, you know, Young Frankenstein is one of the top ten funniest movies ever made. is an absolute classic, and the fact that we have a version to do, sanctioned by the man himself, Mel Brooks, to do live on this stage with uh, original music and songs by Mel Brooks, it'll bring people right back to watching the movie. Did you give this permission in writing, or was this just? A yeah, I, I oh, met yeah. with Mel Brooks personally, and and he told me with you know in his he told me and I quote, "Who are you? Get out of my house." Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, it, it, and it's. Then he asked you why you weren't wearing any pants. Yeah, yeah. no, it, it's it's a hilarious show. We've got a lot of great, you know, obviously all local talent here. We're very fortunate to have a. The law offices of Oliver and Cheek, who are sponsoring the show, and uh, Mr. Oliver himself, George Oliver, is our monster. Wow! And so it's convenient. I, I, I know. I, I I think he just likes dressing up funny. Between this and then he was um, a polo gigante in the downtown dare. I think he just likes dressing up funny. I think someone needs to look into that. We don't we all? Well, I mean, I'm a normal person. I just dress up like women in my spare time. But <laughs> anyway, if you could not use that on the radio, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about so effortlessly. You know me, I don't make any promises. <laughs> I realize that. Uh, but it, but it, it's just a, it's an absolute delight to do. Um, Jay Tyson's directing. He is a master of comedy. He is a master of puppetry. Uh, some might say even genius. We've got Nancy Hitchcock Ooh, producing. I'm sorry. Deanie Singleton and Brandon Banks have been handling the music, and they are just absolutely wonderful. Deanna Sumner is our choreographer, amongst many others like Cindy Riggs, Roxanne Wheeler. Some of the best talent that you will see on stage. It is just absolutely hilarious. If you liked Spamalot two years ago, if you liked stupid body humor like me, like I do, mm -hmm. then you're just going to have a great time. Yeah, you're the guy who fell down the stairs a lot, I remember. I, I do fall down, down the stairs a lot there, but you know, I'm, at my old age, it's, it's becoming less and less a good idea. So thank goodness for roles like Frederick Frankenstein where I just kind of get pushed around and made fun of. <laughs> yes, he's Fred fall down a stair. <laughs> yes. Everybody has their one word that they use that to describe a show. Like it's fantastic, it's wonderful. The cast is amazing. Like Nancy always says, phenomenal. <laughs> always says phenomenal. In every interview I've ever had, in every show I've ever been, she goes, the cast is phenomenal. Okay. I've gone back and I've looked at them. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> okay, this is stupid. If you think spam a lot is stupid, this is stupid with a story. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. I, I really think I, I'm Willie Sumner and I'm playing Igor. And uh, I, from personal experience working with Mr. Keith Boyd, the King Arthur Spamalot guy, uh, know stupid when I see it. And uh, this is really good stupid. So if you want to laugh and be entertained, you should come see uh, Keith getting hurt on stage over and over. Because if somebody can get hurt or break something, Keith can do that. Yeah. He walks in the room and the tech guy just cringes because he knows something is going to break. He's over there in the corner now about to cry because I even brought it up. Uh, the lighting manufacturers found out Keith was working here and they started sending all of our lights with plastic ones. <laughs> Or at least the last two days. That is a good idea. Oh, you know, this is the front, this is the best interview so far I've had ever. You know why? You know why? It's I because do, we're so stupid. Exactly. You know why I do community theater? The love. The love. Yeah, there is so much yes. Love. I mean, you're playing. Uh, you're playing Igor. Playing Igor. Uh, it's a lot of fun. The music is a lot of fun. It's actually really beautiful music, even though it's kind of creepy on some levels. And it's really been difficult to learn because it changes keys like every third measure or every fourth page. Okay. Suddenly, you're singing in seven flats, and uh, that's a lot of apartments in London, from what I understand. So I still don't understand how to do that. But uh, I'm having a good time. Well, as long as you're having a good time, it's all that matters, right? There it is. Exactly. Who the heck are you? Laura Wilson. Well, Laura. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. And you're, you're in what show here at the Civic Theater? <laughs> Young Frankenstein. Okay. What part do you play? Inga. Inga. The I think laboratory I've, assistant. I think I've heard about this role. Tell me all about Inga. Um, she's just a really nice girl. <laughs> that's, that's how I refer to her as. I think she is a little bit smarter than she kind of plays off to be, but she's really dingy. Mm -hmm. She's really funny. 
So she's me, basically, mm -hmm. in a nutshell. I just go up and say I'm someone else. That makes it easy then for yeah. you. No, it's perfect. Yeah. I assume you're going to be singing a lot of lovely songs. A few. I have a couple. Mm -hmm. We're going to roll around in hay. Rolling the hay is one of and them. And you're going to sing a song too, right? Oh, yes. Okay. No, while I'm rolling in the hay. It's going right. to be, it's fantastic. It's really safe. <laughs> <laughs> and I have another one, Listen to Your Heart. Just a, a little ditty um, that's kind of a love song-ish. Mm -hmm. Love so. song-ish. And you were very, once you, once you found out the Secret Theater was doing Young Frankenstein, you were very excited to come out here and audition, right? Yes. Until your Jay Tyson was director. <laughs> no. I actually went back and forth with auditioning because I've never done a big role before. I've always done background. Mm -hmm. um, I've only done a couple of shows here. Well, I've only done a couple of shows ever. So I kind of went back and forth like, yes, I'm going to audition. No, I'm not. Yes, I'm going to, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm going to audition. No, I'm really not. And so then the day of auditions came and I'm actually doing props for the show. So being on the crew, they had asked people to come out and help just, you know, make sure auditions go smoothly, take pictures for people. So while we're doing the auditions, like helping people, they're like, are you going to audition? And I was like, no, <laughs> no I'm not. Um, I did audition. Mm -hmm. So here mm -hmm. I am. Got suckered in just like a lot of us have in the past. Yes. yes. And as long as you're having fun, right? Absolutely. And you'd be willing to do this all over again. No, uh, yes, I would. I would. It's been it's been a lot of fun so far. Okay, good. We'll have to go through all that again. Hi, I'm Daryl. Hi, I'm Amy. <laughs> and what are you? Who are you playing, Amy? I'm playing Frau Blucher. <laughs> oh, this sounds like Young Frankenstein, doesn't it? Exactly. Oh, okay. Exactly. Well, what is Frau? What's the name again? Frau Blucher. <laughs> What's she all about? Well, Frau Blucher, uh, her boyfriend has died. Um, and so she's a very needy and sad woman, really. She gets some of the best lines in the show. She's very funny. She sings. So people who are familiar with the, uh, the movie are used to the Cloris Leachman, very serious version of Frau Blucher. <laughs> this is, it's really very different in the musical. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's much more of a, of a comic part and lots of fun and a little naughty. Yeah. She's just a little bit naughty. Really? Oh, yeah. You can't give us any details on this, or shall we? Well, we should wait. let's just say she's, she's, she's lonely, and she she's kind of hits on pretty much everyone. Oh. Yeah, which is lots of fun. <laughs> lots of fun. <laughs> Sounds like a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. What made you audition for this? Well, I, I just returned to community theater after 35 years when I did Les Mis last year. Mm -hmm. My law partner, who is also in this production, and I guess you'll have on him on here in a moment, mm -hmm. um, he and I have kind of become a team. Uh, we were both in Les Mis, we were both in Oliver, and he told me he was auditioning to be the monster in this show, and I decided to go ahead and try out uh, to see if, if I could fit the Frau Blucher part. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and it seemed to work. A little late, let's try that again. <laughs> My name is Ashley Sadler. I play Elizabeth Benning, who, if you are any famili familiar with Young Frankenstein, is played by the great Madeline Kahn. Hmm. Hmm. Not familiar with her. What does she do? I'm kidding. <laughs> I was about to hurt you, and I don't even know you. <laughs> She's comedic genius. Comedic genius. Oh, and what your character is again, what's that again? Elizabeth Benning. And, and what, what is your character all about? basically all about herself really she is about surviving and being her number one and she will take advantage of anyone who is in her way as long as she can until mm. she falls in love with a very tall green man which is played by the great george oliver here oh so you're playing the incredible hulk is that right ah, <laughs> see. tall green man that's all that's mm. what popped into my oh wait or the ah. jolly green giant yeah <laughs> He's a multitasker. Is he? Excellent. Excellent. As long as you paint him green, he can do yeah, anything. That's right. um, he's misunderstood. Is he? Yeah. He's just a poor, dumb monster trying to make it in the world. Wow. Until he finds love. That's how my or mother. Something close to it. That's how my mother describes me. Really, really, really deep love. Deep love. Yes. Very hard deep love. And very firm love. And long love. Yes. Incredibly long. Incredibly love. long. Which is in Act 2, by the way. <laughs> I'm just going to show up for Act 2. So just forget about the rest of the show. Leave your kids at home. <laughs> for Act 2. Yeah, no, yeah. really for a little bit of Act 1, they should probably for not look the either. show. Yeah. yeah. You guys yeah. do a little singing then? A little bit. There's a little bit of singing. There's. Um, you guys sing together, though. 
Um, we sing the same song, but at different times. Um, oh. There's a lot of me singing and him doing moaning noises. Right. Mm-hmm. And grunts. Yeah. 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 And uh, I may or may not think that there could be a bed involved when this is happening. Wow. A pile of hay. And on, on some hay. Oh. Yeah. In a cave, I think. <laughs> She really loves her. You know, if we didn't understand the context of what was going on, (laughs) right? This is going to make great radio. That's all I've got to say. Do not bring your children. (laughs) Well, this is PG 13, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Bring your children under 13. Okay. Not a problem then.